Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to the Vintage Story Guide. As you can see, we are back in the world, and we are still underground here. And you can hear the drifters complaining that they can't reach me on the other side of this wall here, somewhere. And in the last episode, we went on a grand adventure through the caves here, and we found this translocator. And this one took us a little bit north and east, not too terribly far. And I was thinking originally, as I was panning around, I was thinking of sort of using this one to access the translocator here, but it's actually much farther than just hoofing it from home. Today's going to be another day of exploring, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over through the translocator over to here and take a poke around under there. Now that is notably less stable temporally than we are here, so I'm going to keep that probably pretty brief, but I want to see if there's a second translocator in the vicinity that might take us farther south. If I don't find that, then I'm going to head up through this one here, going on foot, and then once we're down, way down here, we'll search around here for the rest of the episode. And hopefully we'll find one that takes us farther south, but if not, we will begin our future journey setting off from this point here, and heading south. I am really, really hoping we'll find a translocator that takes us there because I don't want to have to walk like a thousand years to get to where we're going. So, wish me luck. And so, we set off through the caverns under the newly discovered translocator. We fought through hordes of drifters and found dead end after dead end after dead end and huge intersections of millions of tunnels. We even fought a bell, a nightmare drifter, and a second bell. But in the end, we found that there was nothing here but more dead ends and not even a single ruin to be found. And by then we were running low on torches and our sword was worn down to barely a stub. So it was time to head back, fix up our gear, make a new sword, get more torches, and be on our way to the north, to go south. Because that makes sense. Okay, everyone, we are back home, temporarily. And I have a bunch of, well, junk, mostly from those locusts. The second bell we fought actually didn't drop any resonance archives, which is a shame. And unfortunately, we already have this one. We just found it in a chest recently, called Vintage Story, somewhere in here. All oh, right, it's in our backpack. But luckily, looking at our steel plate armor, it looks like this is going to last us a pretty darn long time. After all those beatings, it's barely down, what, 2%? One and a change percent? Something like that? And that's for the body armor. Everything else is even lighter on damage. So I am very happy with the performance of this stuff, and we are going to keep using it going forward. But I'm going to go ahead and drop off all these things and just rejigger our inventory, get things ready for our next leg of this journey. Let's get to it. I just came outside and I saw this sad, sorry excuse for redwood. It looks like trimming those pines didn't really do anything after all. I'm kind of starting to wonder if there is something deterministic about where you plant the saplings? Although that doesn't seem true for the other trees, so I don't know. Well, we will chop this one down at some point and... Actually, maybe right now, because I do need some more planks for fences. But, it's a shame. I'm getting kind of frustrated with the lack of height we're getting out of these trees here. Maybe I'll move it to, like, this square here. See how it does? I don't know. Sheesh. Okay, everyone, we are headed off. I have refilled my inventory. We have two stacks of torches. We have a fresh stack of poultices. We have rifts left and right, because it is apocalyptic, apparently. Okay, that's fine. We're going to do redwood fences this time, so we're at boards for those. And we've got oh, an extra soup bowl. No, that can stay with us. And, of course, we do have our backpack with the basket on it, so we're good to go there. 
you'll see that I'm no longer using a blackguard short sword. No, we have upgraded to a steel long sword. It is basically the same stats, but with about twice as much durability. And the same reach and everything, even though the short sword is purportedly shorter. Thank you. I love when that happens. So, let's go up there and let's see what there is to see. And hopefully get us another teleporter to go south. Translocator. Same thing. I'll meet you there. Okay, everyone. Me and my buddy here. We are both ready to head through the translocator. I did spend the night here so that it would be no longer apocalyptic, and it is now calm, which is great. So, let's get our hiking boots on, our spiky shoes, and let's go kick some drifter butt while we look for more translocators. Okay, we're going to work fast here. I want to light this area up and make sure that we don't have any surprises dropping on us, because those are annoying. Let's start up here. And we're going to head up here. And I'm just going to light this up. Oh, you know what? That we can block this off, too, if we wanted to. Ooh. Hey, look, a dead end. Never seen one of those before. We'll leave these torches here just so that we can sort of close off any spawnable locations. Let's see. Ah, oh, yes, the lead. Forgot about this lead here. Oh, and sulfur, that's right. This is otherwise a dead end, so... We might stick around here and grab this lead and sulfur just to take it home with us. I hear you. You bet I do. That's right. So much slate. And with it being pushed up like this, there's probably something interesting down below. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, this is a mess. Alright, let's just check it out. One step at a time. Dead end? Dead end. I bet that's our sulfur. On the other side there. Okay, let's go down this way next. Or not. Just grab you. Once again, hello. Boy, do I hear you. Oh, there you are. You're spawning behind me somewhere, I think. Just can't figure out where. Alright, let's pick left or right. Let's go left first. Because I smell a dead end. Yes, I do. Oh, hey. Okay, I don't think this is the same sulfur. There we go. Onward, and hopefully downward. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Come on. What have we here? Alright, I got money on dead end, but let's find out. Together. Dead end. Oh yeah. So it sounds like there is some place to be, like straight through here. Let's try it. Let's see what happens after I pick these up. They are all around us, it sounds like. Hey, there we go. We're gonna do a bit of this. Oh, we got we got the fun friends. Okay. Put three torches there just to. Oops, wrong button. All right. Traffic jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. 
Okay. Let's continue. Dead end. That's easy. These guys are having quite the party. Oh, hello. I'm finding if I have just one drifter to deal with, if I kind of like move forward and backward, of course these guys can't even hurt me. But these guys, if I sort of get them at the end of my swing and then back off, then I can save on some armor durability and some shield durability. Let's see. Let's go... Ooh. <gasps> hey! Just what we were looking for. Look how close this is. Look how close. Alright, buddy. Get out of the way. You are not the reason I'm here. I know. I want to light this up up here just to hopefully keep creepy crawlers from falling on our heads. Anybody up here? Anything at all? No thanks. Ouch. These guys are kind of similar, although they have a longer reach. They also have a lot more hit points. Oh boy. Who doesn't love finding those guys? Okay, this is probably not a single long dead end, but I'm going to just chase it back here a bit. Oh yeah, no. Okay, let's go back to the translocator, and we'll patch it up and see where it takes us. Whoa. That's, uh, ooh, that's lava down there. You know, I think I'm going to just patch this hole up. I'll probably leave, like, one spot where we could maybe start a ladder. But with lava down there, I am not interested in messing around. So, I'm going to wall this off a bit. Oh, hello. Does your AI not let you path around fences very well? This could be useful. Oh, really? Good enough for now. Except that I can't get in here. Another of this exact same song. But we'll do this. Now we can get in. Okay. I'm just going to block you off for a second. So that we can get our pack off our back and fix this guy up. And the faint hum begins. It's probably impossible to hear on the YouTube audio, but there's a very, very faint hum coming from this guy over here. Starting with, I think, the first gear, or maybe the parts. Hard to tell. Speaking of gears, don't mind if I do. Okay, everyone. Let's step through and cross our fingers for somewhere even farther south. That is what we want. Alright, come on. Money, 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 money! Ooh, I think we got it. We're not that much farther south, but we are indeed... Ooh, we're also very deep. Perfectly safe. And that chest is empty, and that has flax in it. Don't care. Alright, well, let's see how far south we are. Okay. We are a good bit farther south now. That's good to know. That's going to get us a good start. We're still not as far as I want to be. But we are pretty far. We could, if we really wanted to, stick around here. Or maybe even go back through. You know, let's go back through. And we'll see if there are any other TLs clustered around here. I mean, look how close these two are. Right there and there. There could be two or three more, hypothetically. Because they really are everywhere. They're just hard to spot sometimes. So, let's go through. And let's sort of finish 
caving out that area back there. And then we'll make a call. Whether we run south from that next translocator or whether we... Well, if we find a second translocator here, it might take us to a better spot. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go this way first. And let's see where this takes us. Did hear more groans a second ago. Oh. Oops. Elaborate ruse to get me to go into it at end. Yes, it was. Okay. I don't have my prospector with me, so I can't poke at that and see. There's gold or silver there, but that's fine. Wasn't intending to do that anyway. So that means we can sort of just wall off this whole area, which is great. Okay, so let's keep going this way. I know we found that other shaft down up here. Well, there is this one. Nope, that goes straight into a pool of lava. So we are out of here. You know what? Let's go ahead and do our usual dig to the surface. We'll do it from probably this corner over here. I think we have the glitched sounds of the torches again. Oh, this is where I got that fire clay before when I was here earlier. That's funny. So close. Look at this. That is crazy. I'm just going to do that. Okay, and then I think we'll just head back down here and restart our exploration from our starting point down under here. Okay, everyone. I have restarted my game to get rid of that audio bug. So let's head back on out here and we will continue getting into trouble. I think we got everything off in this direction, I'm pretty sure. Right, this is the dead end with the galena and the sulfur. So we'll want to come back here and grab that before we leave. In fact, I'm going to do that just now, just to get it over and done with, and I can close this off and take my torches back. So I'll get back with you in just a second. Okay, we're going to head down this way now, and we're going to see what's there. Quartz, apparently. Ooh, here we go. Now we're talking. A little weird dead end thing there. Let's go up first. Got some flint and stone there, and... Oh, we're into the lake now, okay. Oh, there's more over here. Oh. And then we will head down instead. Which I'm going to guess is the end of our adventure. Okay. Neat. So that means that we can basically call this area largely complete. Actually, pretty much entirely complete. So, let's wall this off here. Okay, now it's decision time. I'm thinking I do want to go through that other translocator and do some exploring, because we haven't been at this for very long today, honestly. But, before we go through, there is one more place I wanted to look, because just south of us, we stumbled across this cave, oh gosh, in episode, I don't know, 40-something or other? And I actually fell into the hole leading into it, and then... I heard some groans coming from the north, from one of the walls there. So I want to go and break through that and see if that leads us to another interesting cave and maybe give us another chance at a translocator or just some cool loot. Because, I mean, we haven't found any other ruins besides the second translocator down here. I'm going to organize my inventory and then we'll head down into that cave with the ruin. Okay, it was right over this away. Yep, oops, I fell into it again. <laughs> I am, well, after so long wearing that armor, I feel so much faster all of a sudden. It's very strange. Okay, so. Yay, with a free lantern, too. I forgot about that. 
Yeah, the sounds are coming from that direction. Yeah, let's go through maybe here. I think the sounds are coming from, like, this way, but we can kind of dig toward them as we as we go. They're getting kind of far. I think they're moving, though. Hey, there we go. All right, what have we got here? More trouble. I like it. And we have a whole new world. Oh, yikes. This is an ugly one. Hey, buddy. This is going to be probably a nightmare to navigate, but let's give it a shot. that too much either. That's eh, not too bad, I guess. Could be a lot worse. Let's go ahead and up up here. Rule this out. Dead end, dead end. And then, yeah, let's head down this way. I hear more voices over here. This is big pit, isn't it? Oh, it's in pit. This is the wacky generation. Okay. Oh, hello. There we go. I guess this just loops around. That's not too bad. May as well go and grab you while I'm here. And you are a dead end. Okay. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and mark this. With two quick things there. Maybe even a third one in the middle. We'll head off this direction first. And we are... Oops. Ooh, don't, uh, don't do that, Corzar. And don't break that silt. Okay, so this direction is a complete bust. That's all right. It means we can grab probably all these torches here. So we don't need to jump down here again. We'll go into that cave, though. Oh, we have some interesting rich zinc ore. That is not a common sight when we have some brown coal. I have been in need of brown coal for a while. Dead end. I might grab the zinc. I'm going to leave the brown coal because it's going to take a while to mine out. We'll just have to know it's there. I mean, there are other sources of it. So it's not that crucial. But yeah, I think I might grab this because we don't have any samples, for example. Oh, and there's more galena. Nice. Okay. Where were we? I think we hadn't gone this direction yet. Dead end. Okay. So that's basically all of this area here. Is that it for this whole place? Kind of a shame if it was. But that is just sometimes how it goes. I think... Oh, wait. Have we been down here yet? I don't think we have. Maybe we have... You know what? I hear more voices. So... Now this could be spawns... Ooh. This could be spawns right where we were. But this... is something entirely different. Hi, guy. Oh, come on and play. Oh, you can't get up here. Let's head this way first. Are we a dead end? Yeah, oh, well, maybe. I think we're a dead end. We're just going to do a bit of that. And now we head down this direction. I feel like maybe we should put the three here. Mark our way out. 
Okay. Oh, hey, what do we have here? We have, I think, one of the dinky ruins. Yep, with like some coins in. Okay. Not going to worry about that one too much. Oh, darn it. Really? And they all spawned over there. Okay. That's fine. We got Oh, we got Quirky Tavern. Oh, nice. Took long enough. Yeah, your friends weren't of any help to you, were they? So sorry. You know what? Instead of beating up my shield and stuff, I might just do a bit of this for the moment. That's better. Nice and quiet. No more bells making noise. It's a long way down. I think I want to go this way first. Something just speaks to me about this direction. Almost like I can just cross it off my list. Hey, look at that. Okay, that was easy. And how do we get across you? Let's do some of this. And we're going to head up here first. Into the dead ends. Dead ends plural. Wow, look at that. Ooh, there's more Galena. But a dead end, okay. See what's up here. Nothing. Grab you guys. And we'll head down to the bottom there and we will just sort of mark this area complete. Ooh, that was right in my ear. Why am I hearing? Oh. Maybe there's something worth checking out up here. Or there's a drifter. There's a shaft up here. And I can see quartz. And a dead end. Okay. As I suspected. Okay, we're going to block you off. You're not very useful to us. Should clear that up. And then we can take you... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Hello. Do you mind? Alright, well, let's get our other ladders out. So we can take them back up when we're done. And we'll just do a bit of this. I see you didn't make it so well. Cuff some water there by accident. That water's awfully blue down here. It's weird. It's usually sort of a more green color. Hope we don't have another water sound bug. Oh, there's something down there. That something sounds a lot like lava. Yeah, I think we're at the bottom of a tube here. Well, let's take a look. See, I'm kind of curious myself. Yeah, it's just a tube straight down to a lava pit. I think we're out of here. Okay, so now I think we can call this whole area pretty much done on this side. There's another friend. We are done with this side of this area. Not too shabby. Okay, now we have a few choices to make. I think we can start by making that choice to go up. We go up and around and down to a dead end. Okie doke. And then let's head down into this really awful looking pit here. My goodness, I don't like this too much. You're just empty. Like my soul. And then I guess we can go down here and see what's in store. It's awfully bright. It must be morning. Sunshader does some funny stuff sometimes. Good night. Ooh. Oh, darn it. Gotcha. Is this a way out, or am I just seeing fog? I guess it's just fog, but... I guess I'll find out in a moment, won't we? 
Plus we're under a lake, so probably not a way out. Just a very elaborate dead end. Okay. Let's go across first. Hmm. I'm tempted to go up there. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. What is this? Dead end that way. Might hear a pit somewhere. Shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. That was not what we wanted to do. That was really mean, guys. That was not very nice. Okay, let's get back on the track. Oh, really? Okay, so that's just that. That wraps around. are pretty darn deep here. Alright, and that is also a dead end. Good to know. Now we can get out of here. Hopefully. Okay. You know, I'm just going to try to find where I came from. Really? Don't think it goes this way, though. Need some food first. Oh, hey! Hey, hey, hey. I am glad I came this way all of a sudden. Let's... Let's do it. Hands down. We're doing it. Now we're starting to actually find some real numbers of Trensicators now that we're searching for them actively. And let's see what's in here. Ooh, money. I won't say no to money. Or sticks. I'll take six. Not super good, but I'll take them. And let's go even farther south, like 15k. Okay, 15k, but in the entirely wrong direction. <laughs> uh, I want 15k on the Z axis, guys, not the X axis. We're actually about back up near home, at least on the z-axis that we went across. We're a little farther north of home. Well, that's disappointing, but not too awful. It could be a place to explore later. But, uh... Right, we should probably get, you know, this sorted out here. We are also deep in the earth. It is stable here. Look at that. Look how stable it is. We're at, we're at Y34. And it is this stable. That is crazy. Huh. And uh, we found a salt pillar. Is that crazy or what? That is... Oops. That is wild. My. Oop, my game doesn't like something. A little weird... Uh, pitches there. Head up here. Oop, no, let's not get in the water. No, we're just gonna block that. Ooh. Oh my, let's, uh. Why are we getting such bad hitches here? What are you doing? Dude, I'm done here. Alright, can we, like, not have weird frame time things going on right now. really don't appreciate those. <laughs> Here's that pillar again. Wow. That is crazy. 
Just stumbling onto... Hey, zinc. Hey, more zinc. Oh, and a ruin. Don't mind if I do. Not at all. But first, I'm going to... Charge down this direction and just... See what there isn't to see. Two... Ugh, one of you. Ouch. So it did end with a... Sawblade Locust lurking in it. Let's just count that one out. And then, I want to take a look in here. Because I don't think we found... Many ruins this deep like this with the stone bricks before. Got some money. Once again, won't say no. Ooh, money. This was a little bank vault, wasn't it? Holy cow. And a stick vault, too. And let's see if there's anything in the floor or ceiling to check out here. Not in the ceiling, but I will take the wood. Or the floor. Nope. But I do hear that party. Somebody... Oh, hello. <laughs> you know... Do I want more zinc? I kind of think I do. Not sure why, but I think I do. I think we are done down here. As I recall, have we been up here before? Just a dead end. Right, this is the other end with the uh, salt pillar. Okay. Well, I think it is time that we hightail it back through the translocator. And I think we're about done. I think that translocator that takes us to the 12,000 mark is about as good as we're going to get within a reasonable time frame. So I'm going to head back there and... I'll head back home, honestly. And in the coming episodes, we're going to actually prepare to make our big move. So... I will meet you all back at Lupine Ridge, where we are going to prepare for our journey in the next episode, and maybe even the next two episodes, because there are a few longer processes that we need to tend to in order to make that journey. So, I will see you there. Actually, while we're on the way home, I thought I would bring up a topic that people have been asking about in comments, is 1.17 when? The answer to that is soon, very soon. I have been recording for most of the day when 1.17.2 dropped, so my four episode buffer, as you can tell, has run out a while ago. We will be updating to 1.17.2 most likely. I need to check to make sure that all of the mods that I use have been updated, at least the ones that I actually actively use. Things like X Rowboat, which I have never actually spawned a rowboat before. If that isn't updated, I'll just remove it temporarily. No big deal. But anything that we do use, I do need to make sure works before we upgrade. If the mods are not upgraded, then we will need to wait a little longer. I was going to do it today if we weren't adventuring more, but I didn't want to make such a big change in the middle of sort of a, an ongoing project. Hey, tools. Just like me. So I can't say for certain whether it'll be in the next episode or the one after, but I would say within the next week or so, we will see 1.17. And when we do, I think the first order of business would be to probably like explore the update itself a bit and sort of see what is and is not possible. There are some new mechanics in the game, such as how water interacts with non-solid blocks. That's kind of the, one of the big ones. Uh, also some performance increases. So some of the weird hitches that we get sometimes might abate a little bit. Oh, thought you were a wolf for a second there. But yes, some of the sort of roughness around the edges might let up a little bit, and that would be really nice. Especially on sort of between chunk borders, you'll notice that the frame rate drops whenever you cross a chunk border. There are some new additions to the game. A lot of them are either in the wild or in one case, explicitly in the south. There are gazelles coming to the game, and I know nothing about them. I don't know whether they drop red meat or bush meat, or whether you can capture and sort of domesticate them the way you can do a sheep, if they're supposed to be sort of the southern sheep replacement. What is this nonsense? I've been here before. Because we're almost home. So anyway, yes, look forward to that in the coming week or two. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Okay, everyone, we are back home at last, 
and behind me in specifically the trunk right behind me is all of the stuff that we got well I'll say most of the stuff we got from this escapade which doesn't include the two translocators which are obviously sort of the stars of the show but in addition to those two one of which takes us very far away 12,000 blocks south and some change east I believe there we go right in here this is where we're going to start our journey south from when we do go to colonize some of the southern climbs. So we're going to come back here. We're not going to go through in the next episode. We have some planning to do before then. But for now, let's enjoy and look at our spoils of this adventure. All right, in here we go. Three, two, one. Blam. Not a bad haul for not really being our primary objective. You know, our objective this time was just to find the translocators, but we did find some good stuff. We found a whole bunch of galena, which I do love for lamps around here. We found some zinc in or sphalerite, and this is useful for making either bismuth bronze or brass. And we got the requisite samples, of course. A little bit of sulfur. Metal scraps. We actually got several stacks of these, and they stacked to, I think, 16. And we really haven't touched on these much before, so maybe we'll look at those in an episode about sort of some of the smaller things we've sort of glossed over or skipped. We got 27 gears, which isn't a bad haul, and in fact we got, I think, like 19 or 20 more, which I already put away. We got four metal parts to replace the ones that we've already used, almost two stacks of aged wooden planks, and actually three, not two, residence archives. We got two... Maybe three of Vintage Story. Let me look. Did we get two or three? Yes, we have three of the Vintage Story track. And Vintage Story is actually one of the tracks that has been playing in the background every now and then when I edit. And Quirky Tavern, however, is new. We have Cultured Tavern. I think that we should take a listen to Quirky Tavern and hear what it sounds like during the outro. Well, everyone, now that we are safe and sound at home and listening to our new music, I think it's time to call the episode. I hope you enjoyed this second part of adventuring down into the depths of the world and finding translocators, and I hope you are as excited as I am to have found some. Look forward to some prep and then some adventure in the coming episodes as we prepare to move south, and we're going to take as much stuff with us as we can, so we need to get ready for that. If you have any AMA stock questions like me to answer in a video like this one, drop them in a comment with the hashtag 20questions. And if you play computer games and want to support the channel, consider using my partner link next time you're shopping on the Humble Store, on screen now and in the description below. Anyway, as always, my name has been Corazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.